Hello, welcome to Brain Injury Recovery. I'm Jared Payne. This month we're going to discuss a normal step that I took. Something that I've been working towards for a lot of years. So I'm elated to share that and talk a little more about it on this month's video. Uh, so the reason I put normal in quotes is because for me, it is very abnormal. Um, it's been nearly five years since my injury, my brain injury occurred. So I've gotten used to walking a different way than the way I used to walk before a injury. So it is something I've been trying for. But I do not feel it's anything that I needed to accomplish to justify my recovery. I think I could have gotten by the way I was walking previously. But nevertheless, this is something that I'm very thrilled by. So I will try to describe in a little more detail exactly what happened for folks out there who've had brain injuries, who have trouble walking, they will likely get it. For everyone else, I will try to explain this in the best way I can. I hope it makes sense uh, to everyone else out there too. Uh, so, at various points in therapy, I had to address a lot of things that went into my walking and I would have to think about those constantly as I was doing the process of walking. Uh, so with some of those things, for instance, there was a time when I would walk to on the outside of my foot where I would roll my ankles a lot. Um, I would step too much on my heel, so working on kind of flattening that out some, so still hitting heel first, but not so much heel the way I previously was. I'm um, shifting my weight a certain way, um, not locking my knees out. I've discussed previously how I tense my arm up. I've also uh, walked with my head all to one side, so all these little things that go into walking that I did not have to think about before, I have to think about now. Uh, so the other day I was filling up my water bottle, and once that was done, I went to go back into my living room from my kitchen, I just took a step or two, and that was like I did not think at all about what I was doing. It just happened automatically. Um, there was no balance concerns. It was just like regular old walking. So then I thought about what I was doing, and I realized what I was doing, and then it went back to me having to think intensely about what I was doing to finish getting back. So I was uh, thrilled with what happened. And I texted a friend of mine as soon as that was over to say that I took a normal step and just how excited I was about that. Uh, so that kind of was a window for me into what potentially the future will hold. Uh, I don't think that's imminent for me. And who knows, maybe another year before that happens again. But just knowing that that is in me was very exciting for that to happen. And for me to see that that is something that could be in my future. Uh, my friend Meg always tells me if you can take one step, you can take them all. So, I think that is true. I have also worked with a guy in therapy previously 
who told me if you can do something one time, then there is nothing structurally keeping you from learning to do it all the time. Uh, so seeing that indication that that is still in me was a great thing and something I was very, I uh, still am very excited about or to I'm making this video. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is that I've shown in previous videos, I do a lot of work walking with Kane in my driveway, which is very inclined and when you're coming out, so way decline. So I work on uneven surfaces that way. Um, for weeks and weeks, when I would go downhill, down my driveway, it would be very uncontrolled. So I w wouldn't fall down, but I would be going faster than I wanted to in doing that. Uh, the other day, that was much more controlled. Um, I had complete control of the downhill, uh, whereas before I did not have that. So every time I've done that since then, I have not had that problem of running down the driveway the way I was. So those little things, taking that normal step and having the increased control and walking the driveway kind of fuels me to keep going, keep driving forward. Um, again, nearly five years into this recovery, big things for me are still happening. I just keep pushing, keep working on those. So that is all that I wanted to share for this month. Thanks for the time and I hope you have a great day.